I finally had enough. Enough of the belly rubs. Enough of the petting. Enough of the good girling. Good girl. Good girl. And I'm going to do something about it. I have set up a mouse trap in the hallway with peanut butter in it. And since Blake's so stupid, and he thinks the expression under the weather literally means below grass, he will obviously try and get the peanut butter where he will get stuck. You humanoids may be wondering, why am I doing this? Well, I have a very simple explanation. I want to be head of the household. And... It looks like my elaborate plan is already working. Wow, our country is broken. Wait, peanut butter laying around in a random hallway? My favorites! I'm gonna go get it. Stuck in a mouse trap again? What is this even doing here? Greetings, human. As you can see, I've placed you in a mouse trap where you will spend the rest of your life. I am doing this so you will be gone and I will be head of the household. That's not true. I still have a mom and a dad and a brother and a sister. Enough of your foolishness. George, take him away. George? Who's George? My assistant who will help me become head of the household. George, take him to where all the other forgotten children whose parents don't love them stay. All? Like multiple? Not yet. Whenever we talk to them, they start petting us and talking to us like their voices are in helium. Wait! But before you take me, I believe I see the mailman. The mailman? You mean the one person in the entire universe who's more sad than you, Blake? Come, George, we must go bark at him until he gets even more sad and leaves our block forever! But I actually don't hate the mailman. I don't care! Fine, I'll help you with the mailman, but only because you're helping me trick my ex-wife into making her think that she's the one paying me alimony. Just because I make more money than you because of my job does not mean I'm not living in poverty, Emily! Wow, what a sad monkey. Okay, time for me to break myself out of this mouse trap. <clears throat> Get off me. Okay, I'm out. I'm back. And Blake, there was no mailman. It was just Sylvester Stallone. Wait, Sylvester Stallone's in my neighborhood? Wait. Blake, why are you out of your mouse trap? Because I know a thing or two about escaping mouse traps. The same my first rodeo in them. It's not? Nope. Not to brag, but I've been in seven different mouse traps. How? Because I'm as small as a mouse and I love peanut butter. I am hated by so many people. I spend so many nights in dungeons with children whose parents don't love them. Okay, fine, that's what we mean there. But that is actually where I spent the 4th of July. Like, every time you talk, I just get so sad and I think of how much better my life is than yours. And I bark at the window every time I see a living creature. And I do that too. Whatever. Blake, it's time for you to go in the dungeon. Okay, we could do that. However, then I can't give you this toy that smells like the thought of me ever, ever getting married. Dead and sad. Well then, perhaps I'll propose a toast. You give me that toy, and I will not lock you in the dungeon. So we're calling a truce? I suppose I'll call a truce with you, even though you have no brain. I have no brain? Then how come my smartness has been compared to Donald Trump Jr.'s? Do you even know whose son he is? Oprah's? Exactly! Okay, you go play with your toy. I'm just gonna cry in my room. About what? About my very existence! I really am lucky to have an owner who makes me proud not to be a human because he's part of the human race. Hey guys, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this week's new video. To see the previous video, then watch What If Gizmo Prism. And to see bloopers and behind the scenes, wait a few minutes. Alright guys, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this week's new video. I love you guys so, so, so much and I will see you guys next week in a brand new skit. 
Bye, guys. I love you guys. <sighs> huh. This chew toy does really smell dead and sad. Just like Blake's chances of ever finding love.